What's up guys, welcome back again. This is uh, another video I want to review uh, this Oxygen OS 3.5.3. So it's almost third day and I've used this build. So as promised, uh, I'll be using it for at least one to two complete discharge. And I have done the complete uh, two discharge. I'm just about here to 26% of battery. So I want to share a couple of things here. So first of all, uh, we will start with our the storage and experience and all. So uh, I've shown you guys in previous video, like uh, I was on 3.5.2. Then I downloaded the complete stuff here and the trail build number 3.2.0-19 was the one that is suitable for this 3.5.2 build and it was working fine and when you install the turb obviously you're gonna override the uh, turb with the stock recovery but there is a way to set uh, if you if you're installing that once the installation is done uh, inside the same turb recovery just go back to the recovery mode again so that it will it won't be overwritten by the stock recovery so this is uh, not a way uh, found by me so uh, let me tell you guys example here you need to just go to your uh, website here calls forums.oneplus.net here so once you got this page here you need to just type in here search here with the current build number so our build number is 3.5.3 .3. just hit search here you will get a lot of uh, search result here so make sure in case you're trying to stall that so get the help from here so you can also comment me and i can try to help you as much as possible but if i am not able to reply due to maybe busy in some other works or not so you can use the help and i do take a lot of help from one plus forum because there are a lot of talented person who are you know interacting each other you can just see here uh, people are posting their solutions and questions so a couple of two things i did notice that and uh, first we'll start with the bugs here so and i did take in here android nougat because i want to compare something in front of you guys so maybe i can successfully reproduce that so here you can see there are two uh, contacts application here one is with this uh, blackberry contacts all right this dark one here and this is the stock contact so uh, let me first open this uh, i'm telling you what is happening there so sometimes i did found that when i'm trying to open this uh, blackberry contact it is opening the default uh, uh, you know stock contact so let me first open this uh, stock contact so it is open all right now if i go back here and let me try to open this blackberry contact so you can see it is opening to the same app now how to open such application you need to uh, create a shortcut on desktop now if you try to open from here uh, it's still again opening from there. i did try to open it that way it was opening fine let me try again so now it has opened the blackberry contact sometimes it did happens like i opened the chrome here and i you know i just went here and uh, tried to open a try to open a new tab here but i was not able to open from here you know this tab button was gone i was not able to do multitasking so what i did i just closed all the apps on the memory then i again opened the chrome then it opened fine and if you talk about the memory management so sometimes uh, i did found that apps are reloading and uh, it is not also you know keeping in the memory and also one more stuff i want to show you guys here this is actually a bug so uh, if you enable this is setting here inside if you just go inside this uh, battery going here setting high power usage apps i guess if you enable this feature so what do you what happens here so there's some apps uh, automatically got closed right so uh, in one of my uh, previous video i have shown you the top 10 best apps for the october i did show you an app right this app actually enables uh, this feature you can easily see at instant movement what is your current internet speed right so it what happens is sometimes automatically get closed even though i don't set down the phone i don't restart the phone i don't close the app so i did found that after maybe five or six hours it closed automatically if you just go to the memory uh, just now we run so we cannot monitor the battery much it's not taking much battery it's just hardly one uh, percentage and just uh, 20 to 30 mb of memory so i don't think so this is a high usage stuff all right now going again uh, this is another uh, we can take it as a bug uh, or you can say memory main issues so now we we'll try some stuff here so uh, this is my uh, studio i did access this studio uh, exactly uh, i guess two to three hours back because i was out and i did the access same on this is android nougat nexus 6 so we'll try to see whether this app is reloading or what is going to happen so first we'll try with the youtube app let's see youtube is reloading or not you can see uh, this time it loads fine but it did take a bit of time here right so this happens and now we'll try uh, for this uh, the studio too so let me just try for a studio so this is the studio so it did load it fine so but sometimes it did happen to me it's not rooting 
because you know this is the app i need to open at least you can say 50 to 100 times in a day because a lot of comments i need to reply you guys here you can see this is what i found in this thing here and the important point here and i got it the battery battery is still not good i'm getting four hours of screen on time uh, always you can see this is on my second charge i did caught on uh, 25 percentage it was on 3 hours 44 minutes so it nearly moves to 4 hours 5 minutes so here's the one you can see 3 hours 9 minutes and just 7 percentage left so uh, it's kind of very low you know just uh, even i was not able to cross 3 hours and 30 40 minutes so battery is not great uh, you will get uh, only a near to you know uh, 4 hours screen on time this is about the issues that i found in all the experience of the 3.5.3 and i didn't find any new features here i guess most of the features have been implemented already so build is like they're just optimizing the build now so in the conclusion uh, in case you're not worried about the battery concern and you want to stall that so go ahead and try that uh, there is not much major issues except this couple of mem memory management and battery concerns otherwise looks fine here so that's it guys for this video and this is what my experience with this current 3.5.3 so in the final if you want to update that go ahead and update there will be battery concerns uh, except not some major issues uh, it's fine all the apps are working fine here so this is sort of i'll catch you next video thanks for watching